how you just evaluate yourself? Yeah, I made some little mistakes here and there. Um, I felt like my eyes and my reads were really good. Missed a couple throws. I think that's just part of it, just getting back into it, getting back to live game action and all that stuff. But I thought overall I made really good decisions, and I was like pretty precise, and I had good time and all that stuff. So I, I was happy with it, and I think that there's still some, some uh, room to go. How, how is this kind of different for you now you've got it? game to that you're trying to build off of instead of like this big break in between the games like how does that change your preparation going into this week? Um I think it just makes me like more excited. Um just trying to stack like each experience that I can get and just make the most of it. Um I, I, I just I just love the game of football so I think it's a chance that I get to be out on the field is just like something that I just really enjoy. So I'll just try to like I said, just try to stack each ex experience and each opportunity that I get. Who do you think steps up with the Drake up? Um, I think we have a lot of guys. Um, I think that, you know, Drake was just like, he's the best receiver in the country. So like, it's kind of hard not to throw him the ball. And when you look over the tape, like there's a lot of guys open and are doing stuff really well. But, you know, if you have the chance to throw it to Drake and, and there's a big play opportunity, you're going to take the shot and throw it up to Drake. So I think we got really good guys who are going to step up and, and, and take roles and uh, be a big part of what we do for these next four games. Did you notice Arizona defending differently with um, no, not really. I think they kind of like stuck with their game plan. Um, they stayed, play, they played a ton of man the whole game. Um, I think they started to press, press up a little bit more, but that was like the only thing that I really saw. Do you anticipate defenses kind of changing things a little bit, knowing that they don't have to prepare for Drake? Um, like I said, I think we have so many weapons that I think people, when they watch tape over it, they see that there's guys open and there's a lot of guys who can make plays for us. So. I don't think anything's going to change it too much. We've seen a lot more Lake McCree out there. What's, what's he showing you over the course of the season? Yeah, Lake's my guy. Um, he's, a, he's a stud. He works his butt off. Um, you know, you, you expect the, the same thing out of the same production as all the other tight ends in the room. Um, he brings like a, a young juice that, that's really exciting and he's just super fun to play with. So I expect him to do a lot of big things and, and to be a big playmaker for us. What's it like when you're waiting on the sideline, knowing you're going in the third drive or whatever it may be, uh, you know, just counting down the series until you get the, your opportunity to go in there? Yeah, I think as the time approaches, you get like a little more but butterflies. Um, but, you know, things just like the whole game plan kind of changed up a little bit. You know, we knew we were going to get our opportunities and the coaches were going to make their decision on, on who was going to go make it. Um, and so I would just say just trying to be prepared for each play that, that was going on. And just being on the sideline, you can see a lot of things that, you know, sometimes you can't see in the pocket. So uh, I think that those are big things. And when, you, when you go out there, it'll help you if you're just able to lock in on the sideline. Do you know how much you're going to be used on Saturday right now? Um, not, no, not right now, I don't. Do you, when do you anticipate to know? Um, I think we're going to have conversations throughout the week. And the coach is going to be super upfront with us. And we're going to be in, in, informed the whole week. Is, is, there, that, is there any thought about red shirting or protecting the red shirt? Um, not right now. I think that I'm just trying to prepare each week and just do the most that I can to be ready for whenever my numbers go. Mindset-wise, do you just come in anticipating that it might be a split? Is that just yeah? I think I think that, like I said, like we're gonna just keep competing at practice, um, keep looking over game tape, and and uh, our coaches will, you know, we'll have good conversations and we'll just be ready whenever our numbers go. What's you and Mark? What's the dynamic between you and, and Keaton on the sideline, kind of taking a leadership role, talking to linemen and offensive guys and, and all that? Um, I think it like helps benefit our team a lot. Um, I think that Keaton's had just like a ton of time and he's been able to see like so many different coverages, so many different defense, so many different schemes, and he has so much experience that he has a ton of knowledge. And I think like we help each other out a lot when we're on the sideline of just like what we see together and that helps each other when we go out on the field. Um, and you know, we keep the same leadership roles um, when we're not on the field versus when we're on the field, just trying to keep everybody heads up and keep the energy going. Thank you. Thank you.